Tottenham following Tengol ace for over a week, club waiting for an offer from them. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Before we dive into this transfer update, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay updated with all the latest news. Tottenham are hoping to get a deal done for the Juventus winger Federico Chiesa. According to journalist Massimo Pavan via Bianconero News, Tottenham have been following the 26-year-old Italian international winger closely since July 18th and they could make a move for him soon. He has a contract with Juventus until 2025 and the Italian outfit will be under pressure to sell him this summer. They will not want to lose him on a free transfer next year. The 26-year-old scored 10 goals in all competitions last season and he will add goals and creativity to the side. He is versatile enough to operate on either flank and Tottenham could use a dynamic attacker like him. Chiesa is at the peak of his career right now and he could make a big difference for Tottenham and his country. It will be interesting to see if he can get back to his best once again. The player has returned from his injury problems and impressed over the past year. But he is still away from being at his best. Can Tottenham sign Federico Chiesa on a bargain? Spurs will be hoping to sign him for a reasonable price this summer. Given his contract situation, the Italian outfit will be under pressure to cash in on him. Spurs must look to take advantage of the situation and sign him for a knockdown price. Meanwhile, the report from Bianconero News claims that Juventus are waiting for an offer for the player, and it remains to be seen whether the Tottenham come forward with an official proposal. They will need to plug the gaps in their squad during the summer transfer window, and the 26-year-old would be the ideal acquisition for them. He could transform them in the attack. Ivan Toney appears no closer to sealing his dream transfer away from Brentford this summer and staying for another season before leaving on a free transfer is not being ruled out. Give me sport report that Tottenham and West Ham are now the only two clubs left in the race for Ivan Toney this summer, whose price tag has dropped down to just £50 million. Talk sport agree that the Ivan Toney transfer saga is now a two-horse race, but the England international is reportedly hoping that Spurs come calling for him. That being said, a more recent update from Give Me Sport suggests Manchester United could yet decide to rejoin the fight to sign Toney over the coming weeks. Brentford's new club record signing, Igor Thiago, has suffered a knee issue, which could keep him out for the first month of the new Premier League season. If Thiago, who was supposed to be the B's Toney replacement, is ruled out for a long period of time, it is claimed that Brentford may even look at keeping Tony for the time being. The BBC now report that, although Tony remains keen on an exit, Brentford are yet to receive a single bid for the striker and there are no obvious suitors coming forward. People at Brentford are said to be accepting that Tony will not sign a new contract, but they are confident he will give his all if he ends up staying for the 2024-25 season and leaving on a free next summer. I would be very surprised if Ivan Tony was still a Brentford player come the start of the season. His price tag will eventually drop down to around £40 million, which is when Tottenham will probably make their move for the centre forward. Spurs in talks to sign striker with 26 goals and 9 assists in what will be typical Daniel Levy deal. Tottenham continue to be linked with Lille striker Jonathan David. David is a name they were linked with a lot in the beginning of the summer, but reports eventually faded recently. However, it appears that the interest from Spurs has not gone anywhere, with the club still very much keen on signing him. Recent updates suggest that significant progress has been made in their pursuit. According to the latest from Football Insider, Tottenham are in talks with Lille regarding David's transfer. Lille president Olivier Latang has reportedly indicated that the forward can leave for approximately £20 million, making him a highly appealing option for Spurs who are eager to enhance their attacking lineup. The combination of a reduced fee and David's goal-scoring abilities makes him an ideal Daniel Levy signing. In fact, Ben Jacobs in a recent podcast described it as a Daniel Levy deal. David's current contract with Lille is set to expire next summer, which has resulted in a reduced transfer fee. This discount presents an opportunity for the Lillywhites to find a viable replacement for Harry Kane, who has left a substantial void in the team's front line. Last season, David demonstrated his attacking prowess by scoring 26 goals and providing 9 assists in 47 appearances across all competitions. His outstanding performance highlights his quality in the final third, an area where Tottenham has been seeking improvement under manager Ange Postacoglu. 
The 24-year-old has also delivered strong performances on the international stage, scoring 28 goals in 54 appearances for the Canadian national team. His arrival would not only address the gap left by Kane, but also significantly boost the team's offensive capabilities for the upcoming season. If Spurs are successful in securing his services, he would become the first marquee signing of the summer for them, club's chances of signing Tottenham man on the rise. Talks continuing, confidence increasing, the possibility of AC Milan finally striking a deal for Tottenham defender Emerson Royal is on the rise after it appeared they had given up. That's according to Gazetta dello Sport journalist Luca Biancin, who has added to the growing belief that Milan may be getting closer to getting their man. A report yesterday indicated that there had been a positive turnaround in Milan's already long and drawn out pursuit of Emerson this summer, explaining that they had returned to the idea of signing him and were now keen to get a deal over the line. That was followed by a claim today that Milan would make a decisive assault for the defender this weekend and were now one step away from getting it over the line. Bianchin has now echoed that sentiment, providing Milan News with a positive update on the matter when asked today. For Emerson Royal, the dialogue with Tottenham and above all with the player has continued for some time, he said. It seemed that Milan had chosen to proceed with other priorities. Now the possibilities are on the rise. The big question is whether Milan have now decided to move closer to Tottenham's demands for the Brazilian fullback. They seemed determined to try and get him on the cheap and started with a low first offer and had only slowly, very slowly in fact, moved closer towards Tottenham's demands over the last few weeks. Unless they've suddenly now decided to up their bid considerably, then that will remain the case. But there does seem to be an increasing positivity in Italy that they can get their man out of Tottenham. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today community together. Thanks for watching and as always, come on you Spurs.